whether their ancestors paddled across in hollowed out tree trunks like these, or floated on giant bamboo rafts, no one knows. occasionally in sight, they would have surely been tempted to investigate. By the time people arrived, the Solomons were packed with almost a quarter of the plants and animals found in New Guinea. including their old adversary, the saltwater crocodile. A 60-mile swim would be an unimaginable feat for most animals, but salties are not most animals. One of the few crocodiles to tolerate saltwater, they are also the largest and strongest swimmers. Guided by an internal compass, they made landfall throughout the Solomons and became the most easterly population of crocodiles in the Pacific. Once arrived, they'd have had plenty to feast on. The waters surrounding New Guinea and the Solomons are the richest and most diverse species of fish on one of these reefs than in the whole of the Caribbean. But how did all this life reach the Solomons from New Guinea? You might think it would be easy for a fish to swim between these small islands, but not so find these little fish in deep water. The open ocean beyond their shallow reef is in fact a huge barrier. 